Hello, everybody. Uh, hopefully, you can hear me. Uh, just do a quick mic check here. Wait, let's push that back. Okay, like that. So, just um, we did a live cast this morning, and uh, we just thought we'd do another quick one just for the. I know there's a lot of people from Europe and other places in the world that might not be able to catch us in the morning. So, we're actually kind of tired. We've been at it all day. So we are going to probably go on for about an hour, unless there's no one here. And it only looks like there's four people here. So uh, maybe this won't go on that long. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and um, uh, start the... Uh, as I mentioned this morning, I don't know if you guys heard it or not on who's here, but um, I did mention that uh, domestic travel is opening up in the Philippines as long as you're vaccinated. The IATF came out with a thing this morning, I think it was, or last night, saying basically that vaccinated people, fully vaccinated people, will be allowed to travel um, in the Philippines domestically as long as they don't have a um, any LGUs don't have a specific thing that they... RT-PCR. Yeah, so they don't need to do the RT-PCR tests. So, um, good evening, Tennessee Traveler. Yeah. You were here this morning. Um, let's see. Uh, welcome, Paul, from the UK. I just want to say kudos to you for putting it all out there on YouTube. You really have a pair of grapefruits to do that. <laughs> I guess I do. <laughs> uh, welcome, Mia. You grow more confident with every video, and your journey as human being is very heartening. You want to have a comment to that? <laughs> just want to say thank you. <laughs> Okay, you want to read the next one? Yeah, same guy. Uh, keeping sucking the keeps, snake. Keep sucking at the snake. No, it says keep, keeping sucking at the snake bite wound over Paul's heart until you drew out all the red food poison and achieve your own heart's desire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, soon. <laughs> uh, I have to say, it's nice to see both of you here like this morning the way you two interact on the stream works great thank you tennessee traveler probably won't be as funny this time around because i think we're both kind of tired yeah. <laughs> less energy you know the battery you only have so much battery from the morning to the evening and our battery i think is kind of drained um ken roch says hi from cebu province oh you're in cebu hey ken um Live my PH dream. Do you have the latest news for international travelers? As far as I know, there's really no updates. Um, the only update I have is for domestic travel that I just mentioned. And uh, But I think that's a good sign for international. I think that's just a matter of time before the international thing opens up. I think it's going to be third or fourth quarter this year. Geo in the Philippines thinks it's going to be first quarter of next year. So we will see, but I think they're moving forward in the right path. They're opening up domestic, which means they are planning bigger things. They also have seen also that they're building a lot here in Cebu. Yeah. And they've actually started opening up restaurants that have been closed for a while. Mm -hmm. So that's also a good sign that they think something is coming, right? <laughs> it's a sign. It's a sign, yeah. So that's my two cents on it. Uh, I know where you're coming from. I'm a little tired myself. Knee is out cold already. <laughs> <laughs> Mia almost fell asleep. She got up at 4 a.m. 4 a.m. to cook. Wow, that's that's even early for us, right? For you, uh, yeah. <laughs> Ken says, Paul, make her happy and get married because <laughs> everyone knows that you both love each other. Oh, there's more to marriage than love, Ken. <laughs> Boyfriend, girlfriend is love. <laughs> uh, Tennessee traveler, truly How? the way Mia <laughs> looks at you. <laughs> okay. 
so um so yeah so this morning we had a live cast and we talked about the philippines opening up what else did we talk about a lot we, of stuff a lot of stuff we talked about the also the philippines we have now i think 11 million people who are vaccinated and it's increasing very fast so i think the philippines will be i think every week that goes by the amount of people getting shots will increase dramatically so um it's going to be because they need that people need that because like they want to travel people want to go somewhere else and just yeah. you know not being hassle like doing all the rt pcr and the acceptance letter oh that's just such a pain such a pain and expensive in the yeah and expensive it is the rt pcr test is five thousand pesos or a hundred dollars um but if you get the shots right now they're saying that you can travel hassle free all over the philippines as long as there's no lgu restrictions and i don't think there will be mm -hmm. uh, so i mean we'll see what happens but um it's a good it's a good incentive for people to get the shot too, right? Because yeah. now they can travel. I mean, I was going to wait a bit, but now I'm kind of thinking I want to get the shot soon so we can travel, right? Yeah. Uh, Ken says, no, it's marriage is commitment. True. Yes. Uh, till, till someone decides to get a divorce. <laughs> it's a commitment to the divorce. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah that's right mr ron has a sorry sorry store and uh, that's why she gets up so early okay that's great i've seen so many sorry sorry stores i don't know how well they do profit wise maybe you can enlighten me mr ron um uh tuatha says you have mentioned air pollution in dumagedi and other places where in the philippines has the lowest air pollution question mark palawan question mark i really don't know i don't even know if they have statistics over that and i haven't traveled uh, too much around the philippines to know but i know for there's, example there's a place it's called batangas batangas yeah it, it it has a lot of trees in it like it's not been touched by a civilization it's like less cars less, less cars less motorbikes less, less house like yeah the people living there are just from the old if you know it's but not, then there's nothing there there's no coffee shops maybe no restaurants right? i think there is some restaurant like just a filipino restaurant for yeah. people traveling there because like there's really beautiful mm. views there like you've got i think it's you know like it's from a movie kind of thing mm. so yeah yeah i, I think it, that's a hard question uh I, I i can't really answer that i haven't been that much around so Only 2% are fully vaccinated in the Philippines, currently 8% single shot. Uh, I think it's more than 8% now. I think it's um, 11 million. Yeah, 11 million would be about 8%. True. Yeah, 8%. <laughs> Sorry, late at night, my brain is slow. Um, my second vaccine is in August because I have to go back to Canada for a few months with my Filipino wife. Mm. Okay. You can't get the second vaccine in Canada then? Because I thought you had to have it within a few weeks of the first shot for it to be efficient. But I just realized I have to get a new ACR card when I send. You know, the funny thing is I went to immigration, my ACR card expired, and I asked him, do I need a new one? Or what do I need it for? I've got a driver's license as ID. And he said, no, you don't really need it. So I just dropped it. It's like, well, if I don't need it, why have it, right? That's what they told me, the immigration. I don't know if that's, I don't know. Um, there's something up this winter. Oxygen supply companies are stockpiling tanks of oxygen. Used to be able to get eight large tanks, now only three. They're numbering as well. The oxygen in the world is running out. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> well i think it's because the hospitals need the oxygen because yeah because of, uh, of the covid they need because of air. the covid not air but oxygen, oxygen yeah, yeah oxygen uh yeah, the philippines lived most of my life in oak ridge and kingsport area okay uh 
Paul, no divorce here, so make her feel like she is the only one who is in your mind. <laughs> yes, there is actually no divorce in the Philippines. I mean, there's annulments, right? Annulment, but it, take, it takes years and, and years, and it's also expensive. But so. people here get divorced through a different way. They just leave, right? <laughs> yeah. I and mean, there's a lot of Filipinos who are married, but they're not with their wives or husbands. They li are living with somebody else. They basically just left, right? Yeah. So that's the way divorce is done here. <laughs> they just leave. <laughs> it's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> it's illegal, but they still do it. Uh, right for life. So I've looked up AQI data. Palawan is good as are most smaller remote provinces and less populated islands. Yeah, I, I've been to Palawan as far as that, but that was a while ago. And I remember the air was fresh. But I think anywhere that is an island, a smaller island, maybe the air blowing in from the sea will keep the air fresh as long as the air is not the stagnant. Less, less pollution, less, I mean, less population, less pollution. Yeah, but it also depends if it's blowing, you know. If you live in a small, you know how Palawan is kind of long and thin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when the wind blows across, it blows the pollution away, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, Tuata says, anywhere in Luzon is high pollution. Really? Um, I would think there's some... Because it's Luzon populated. Is, yeah, but Luzon is so big. There are many areas that are not populated, right? Luzon is the biggest island. It is, but there's a lot of people going to Luzon, babe, to find work, to find maybe stuff Manila, like that. but not Luzon. I mean, there's many provinces in Luzon too, right? Yeah, well, maybe there's some small islands or something. Isn't that place Tag Tagtai or Tagay -tai. in Luzon? The one in the mountain, isn't that Luzon? Are you talking about Baguio or Tagaytay? Tagaytay. Isn't that also in Luzon? Tagaytay. Yeah, Tagaytay, yeah. Isn't that supposed to have fresh air and everything? It's up in the mountains. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Never been to Tagaytay. A Yank in the Philippines says, listen, my pulse rate was 130 after the first jab and 137 after the second shot. I'll never get another shot again. I felt like I was going to die. What shot was that? That'd be interesting to know. But he didn't die. That's the thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> he survived. <laughs> uh we do well because I apply American business principles to it. I'm cheaper because I don't borrow to buy, buy stock. stock like some do. I also carry things that others don't. Okay, cool. So you're not always out of stock. <laughs> if I come there and ask you for something, sorry, <laughs> sir, we're out of stock. <laughs> um, how is Gio? How is Gio? That's one Carlos. I think one Carlos is in love with Gio. <laughs> joke <laughs> he's doing fine man um can rock no here i'm waiting for the call to get second shot or i will not be able to travel home oh okay mr ron says i don't need an acr either if i can get away with it yeah they told me i didn't need it so i said i didn't pay for it so no point in paying for something I don't need, right? Medical oxygen is running out, but there is plenty of industrial grade oxygen. It's just not as pure. Okay. That's interesting with the oxygen thing, huh? Yeah. Should we get a couple of bottles of oxygen just in case? House. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Snack daggers, living life to the max. You're never too old. How things for you to hope you're both well. Things are great, man. Yeah. Things are great. Uh, Ken says, Paul, I married my wife. She has two kids and I would never change my mind because Filipinas are very loving and caring. That's True. Great. Great for you. Um, but she could also change her mind. <laughs> you could end up leaving, <laughs> living on a different island. <laughs> I live near there behind Etsu. Oh, they're talking among themselves. I'm currently living in Thailand and hoping to go to the Philippines when the borders open. Where would you recommend for a base? That's a good question. I think I think Cebu would make a good base, right? Lapo, because because so. like I rented the. Um, or Buhul, 
But the thing with Cebu is got the international airport. It's great. Got a great port. Mm-hmm. It's got buses that go everywhere, right? So you have easy access to other places, and yeah. it's also cheaper than living somewhere like Manila. Um, and you also you could live out in Lapu Lapu, and that's where the airport is. I rented my my storage for three hundred dollars a year, and it's a big storage. Um, but all my boxes then in there, I could probably put my. Don't you think my two motorbikes would fit in there plus the boxes if we reorganized it? I think it would fit. Yeah. Yeah. So. So that's three hundred dollars, and uh, you could probably get a lot cheaper condo than this. Um, so there's I, a I, lot of condos. I think Lapu Lapu is a good place. Yeah, I, I think if we decided to stay here longer, I think I could probably bring down the rent here to probably sixteen or seventeen with some negotiation. Yeah. You know. Okay. Juan Carlos says he did 300 plus hours of volunteer work at the VA last year. Oh, good for you, man. Good for you. <laughs> Mr. Ron says, never out of stock, sir. <laughs> oh, that was the Moderna, Moderna uh, vaccine. Okay, that made you um, your heart rate go up. Okay, good to know. Uh, Snack Daggers said he just had the both shots and waiting for things to open up. Like I said, I think third or fourth quarter of this year, and me and Gio have a bet on it, a coffee. So we'll see. Uh, Michael agrees with uh, Gio. He says 2022. Um, I, I really, I mean, I look at Fouquet opening up. I look at other countries opening up in Europe. I see the shots increasing here in the Philippines. I see domestic travel opening up in the Philippines. I see them opening restaurants. It's all a good sign that something is going to happen soon. Yeah. Not not six months from now, not nine months from now, but sooner rather than later, don't you think? I think so too. Yeah. Wait. Uh, hey, have you seen the list of green countries? It's a weird selection. I don't see any European countries myself. I am a European. No, I haven't actually, but I'm sure that list will change in time. So by the, thing, by the time things open up, that list should change. Are oh, you talking about Thailand? If so, I haven't seen it. No. I've been to IBA, it's on its own West Coast, still kind of polluted, but not as bad as Subic. That area is really bad. Oh, okay. Wow. ACR is 3K peso, which is about $60. I think that's about right, uh, Mr. Ron. Um, many Philippine expats are anti vac uh, vaccination yet will happily jump around on a scooter with little experience and eroding reflexes risk and probability seem to be misunderstood <laughs> yes. well said <laughs> Rasputin <laughs> well said yeah I mean I've heard that too Filipinos say that they don't want to take the vaccine because they're scared of it they think it's dangerous but yet they'll drive around in slippers with no lights and brakes that barely work so yeah, it's kind of hilarious. <laughs> Kim says, Paul, you should have a child with Mia. Your life will change. It will certainly change if I had a child. Whether that would be a good change for me or not, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> A yank in the Philippines. Good morning, professor. Good morning. Um, where are the cooler regions there? In the mountains or oh, on no, a particular it's island? It's in the mountains. Like Tagit, Tagaytay. Say? Tagaytay. Um, um, the other one that I went to? Baguio. Baguio. Um, I, the places I know. Even Valencia. Is much cooler than Dumaguete by yeah, probably yeah. five degrees, right? And that's a big difference, five degrees. Also, got a very beautiful places up in Valencia where it's really up in the mountain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like the further elevation up. is even higher. Yeah. Even higher, yeah. That's hard to get to. Yeah. Uh, people have a poor grasp of risk. They worry about one in a million chance of getting a clot with the vaccine when you have one in 20 chance of getting a clot in. If you because catch COVID, good, uh, good point. Really good point. Uh, 
<laughs> That's funny. I'm not going to read it. <laughs> the professor. Hello, Paul and Mia. Together is always better. True. I'll let you read some because I'm getting tired. Okay. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jordan Sherman. I don't know how to <laughs> pronounce your family name. Uh, you're living in Lagos, Nigeria, Africa. I am sorry. It's oh, welcome to our live stream. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, we're usually more energetic, but it's late at night for us, and uh, I think we're both really tired. <laughs> we should have taken. No, a, we just we should have we taken just, a nap. We just wanted to try at the night kind of thing. Um, on your previous live stream, you were talking about affirmative action. If okay, I would like to give my opinion. By the way, I went in several countries in Europe and North America and Southeast Asia. My GF is Filipino. Yeah, go ahead. Give your opinion, man. That's what the live stream is for. Uh, Mr. Ron says, the stores are a good supplement to my social security. I couldn't live off them without social security. I like it because she wants to work and that we are together. I am the CEO. She's my staff. <laughs> Good stuff, man. You're the boss, in other words. <laughs> uh, JSR Nigeria says, um, affirmative action isn't a racism. Isn't a racism, but against racism because you believe are not everywhere in the world. Even in Africa, especially South Africa, white people have more chance than black people. So affirmative action is and excellent. Is well, I have to disagree with you there, uh, JSR. I think any type of policy that discriminates mm -hmm. one race over the other, and that's exactly what affirmative action does. It says if you're of a specific color, you'll get extra points to go to school, or you'll get this job over this guy who's of a different color. I believe any discrimination is racist. So I believe affirmative action is racist as well. If you're discriminating, I don't care who you're discriminating against. If you're discriminating against whites, blacks, Asians, to me, that's racist. But hey, that's just my opinion. Uh, you should try the province life. It's calm and relaxed unless you really like the amount of traffic and people in Lapo Lapo. You know, I, I like to have people around me. I don't like the traffic, but I do enjoy people around me, but I do enjoy going to coffee shops, different restaurants. I enjoy the city life, you know, know. the amenities. I think it's nice. At the yeah. same time, we have access to the beach and we have access to the mountains. It's a 45 minute trip, but still we can go, you know? Yeah. So that's kind of, I don't know. I don't know if I'd enjoy living in, in the province. I don't know. Like, I think I get bored even with the internet. I think I get bored. What do you think? Well, I think later on you'll get, I mean, yeah, you'll get bored at first, but then later on you will learn to adapt the new life if, like, you know, you have the will to do it. Like, yeah. Yeah, I think you'll adapt it to it later on. No gym, no. Well, I think you could no go to coffee shop. I think you could go to gym or coffee shops, but like. In the province, a gym? No, like you could go down to the city and just do a. Weekend. <laughs> Weekend gym. <laughs> Weekend gym. <laughs> the coffee shop. Uh, no, Philippines. I'm not sure what that means. I'm getting. I'm getting the vaccine delivered to my home. Wow. Mm. So you inject yourself then? <laughs> That's. Uh, oh. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll do that. <laughs> I hope you're right about when it opens up. My best guess is the first of the year, but nobody knows for sure. It's all the best guess. Yeah, exactly. We're all guessing based on different facts and which facts we put most, um, um, what's the word? God, my mind's blank. Uh, the, mm. The facts that we put the most uh, belief in. Um, Apple says, hello, sweet couple. Thank you, Apple. I have four grown children, nothing like them. That's a lot of children, Noakim. Uh, good morning. Do you have any info remote jobs good for people with little experience? Teaching English online. 
teaching English online used to be a big thing, but there's so many doing it now. It's really put pressure on the wages. Yeah, but and people then, get less hours. Then later on, it all just you know they need more people because like if things opens up, yeah, people are gonna go back to the old ways. Like they're gonna apply for this true job and all that. Yeah, I just think you can't really rely on a um an online job like teaching English, if that's your only source of income, it has to be like a supplement. Yeah. You have to have a minimum standard, let's say $1,200 that you're getting in every month. And then anything you earn on top of that, that's like a supplement, you know, to make your life a bit better, you know. More chance of kicking the can, falling off a ladder than snuffing <laughs> it from COVID. That's UK government facts. If you're over 70, take the vaccine. Well, that's not the statistics that I've read, Eric, but um, okay. P.S. Paul, you look happy. Ask her and I will be going <laughs> to your wedding. Okay. <laughs> Ken is for, are you sure you haven't paid this guy to put all this up? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> um, Ken, we need to talk about it. <laughs> Uh, a snow lights at night on a motorbike to save gas is the stupidest thing <laughs> I've ever heard of <laughs> yeah I've heard that too and I couldn't believe it when I heard it like you I rode all my life in the states yeah um, it's it can be crazy over here I, I find actually in Cebu it's better than it was in Negros in Negros it was terrifying at night yeah. I, I almost refused to drive at night because it was terrifying um I'm 50 and been with my Filipino over seven years. No intentions of having a baby. Why it would be extra responsibility that I don't want. That's true. It is extra responsibility, but I mean, having a kid is wonderful. I've, I've never had my own kid. I've had a, I had a stepson from, he was one to about seven or eight. And it was, I mean, I, I loved, I loved my stepson. He was great, great kid. And, uh, it was a great time. I mean, seriously, having a child can be a blessing. One child or two, once it becomes more, it's a headache. <laughs> <You know? laughs> That's what they say here. It's a blessing, right? Yeah. No matter how poor you are. No matter how poor you are, it's <laughs> well, a blessing. How many kids you have? You have eight and the ninth one come. It's a blessing. Number 10, it's a blessing. <laughs> I think AA is uh, discriminatory yeah i think so too um no come back on <laughs> yeah. uh, some people don't understand that logic hey paul when you're coming out here to when are you coming uh oh it's san juan he has a vlog too a great vlog for you guys who haven't checked out his vlog uh to go surfing um i got an extra long board for you Bring your GF, and there's a great gym here in San Juan. Okay, I might check it out. Um, you know, once, well, things have opened up. I just need to get the shot. So, the shot? Okay, yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> Give me the shot. <laughs> I hope they have windsurfing over there. That'd be great, or kite surfing. But it's been a while. It's been a long, long time. But it'll be fun to try again. Many older expats have a child with that young Filipina that they are desperately in love. That's fine, but babies, kids, school is not for me. Well, to each his own, man. Some people love it. Some people hate it. So, And some people think they hate it, and then they have a child, and then they end up loving it. So, If you want to start a charity for helping kids, is there a lot of government regulations to jump through? You know I've never done that, so hard for me to say, but I have heard, yes, there are. Uh, there are a lot of regulations and you have to jump, jump through hoops and you have to be very careful with it over here because you can get into trouble yeah. if you don't follow all the rules and regulations. Yeah. So, yeah. Because there are a lot of scammers that will use the faces of kids and all that to get money. So you got to be careful. Uh, okay, that's for Eric. Eric says, who cares about skin color, LOL, especially guys that date Filipinas. We love their skin color, period. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> we do. <laughs> we love that brown color. OK. 
and says, we have a small farm here and it keeps me busy. Plus I'm a few minutes from the ocean and I like, like I said, I go to Lapu Lapu once a month or so to change the pace. Oh, okay. Having a farm in the Philippines, that must be pretty interesting. That would be, yeah. I don't know if it's something I'd want to do, but it would be interesting, you know. I'd love to go to your farm and film, Ken, if you'd let me. <laughs> um, living in the province is for people who want to sit around doing nothing all day. I need malls, restaurants, Wi-Fi, cinema, and a good selection of toti. <laughs> toti. What is toti? <laughs> I don't think you know what is toddy. Yeah, I agree with you, Rasputin. Uh, I, I got to have the same. I, I think the province would be maybe okay for a month or two, you know, the nature walks and all that. But after a while, I think it would get kind of boring. Yeah. But a place like Valencia that is kind of proven, province away from everything, but it's also only 20 minutes now to do Maggetti. To me, that would be That's perfect. perfect, you know, because you get away from all the noise, you get away from the pollution. Mm -hmm. If you need some city stuff, you go down to the city. Yeah. So that to me is perfect. Uh, okay, he's talking to. I like, I like where we are in Davao City. You can walk to SM Mall, one of the biggest here, and to the beach. Hmm. Okay, I um, I've never been to Davao, but Geo says it's nice. The Norwegian, yeah, I am Norge. <laughs> the best is to stay home at your own country until it's totally safe to travel. Well, it's never totally safe. Plane crashes all the time. <laughs> <laughs> A joke. <laughs> uh, everyone is vulnerable. Find out the facts and don't listen to social media. The virus is becoming increasingly virulent in younger people and we don't know the long-term effects. They're very, very true. Very true. Oops. Oops. I lost it again. Um, we already have close to 1 million with long COVID in the UK. It's my second live stream here and I'm liking you both. Well, thank you, Isa. What kind of dog do you have on that picture? Is it a Bichon? Um, okay. Brian. Brian says, hi guys, just got home and found you live late to the party. That's okay. Uh, JSR says, okay, I understand your point about affirmative action. I respect it, but I, I totally disagree. That's fine. That's why we have discussions. By the way, have you been in Africa? If yes, where? If no, are you planning that? Sorry for being curious. I actually lived in Egypt, which is North Africa, for nine years, but I've never been to mid-Africa or, or the south part. So, no. Um, well, yes, but no. <laughs> it's been a while. Actually, I've been to Morocco, too. That wasn't that long ago, like five years ago or something. So North Africa, yes. Uh, yes, it's better to live in the city because they have what you need, like food and medicine or anything that you need. It's not like in the province, sometimes out of stock. Out of stock. <laughs> out of stock. <laughs> stock and stock is different. Um. Maybe I've had one too many beers over here, but it sounds like a certain someone might be bringing you around to the idea of fatherhood. <laughs> <laughs> Where you can road. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fatherhood. That's, uh, I don't know. I've said by the time I'm 55, I will have decided one way or the other. How old are you now? 39. <laughs> 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 I love family life. I will have a child with my girl if everything is in the right place relationship-wise. Yeah, that's good. It's each his own, man. I mean, some people want kids. Some people that's don't want kids. Kid. And actually, I've, I've known people that don't want kids and they 
accidentally have a kid and they just love it. <laughs> and I've known okay. people that want kids and they have kids and they don't like it that much. So everybody is like, I don't think you know before. I know because I've had a stepson, you know, yeah, so I know. I know what it's like. It's not like I don't know. I've, I haven't, uh, San Juan uh, La Union vlog says, I haven't seen any windsurfing or kite boarding here. Uh, there is some diving, mostly just traditional surfing. I hear I hear about having a gym. I picked this area because of the Seattle gym. Well, I've actually never tried just wave surfing, so that would be kind of interesting. Um, I mean, it's all about balance, right? So I think I have a good balance. So that'd be fun to try. Yeah? Yeah, I would love to. As long as there's no sharks. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right for Life says, Paul and Mia, you're a nice couple. Take your time, get married or not. Start a family. Have your first baby. If you haven't had one, it's probably something you should consider. Yeah. Consider. They're pushing you too much, babe. Consider what is that? and denied. <laughs> <laughs> really? No. I told you. I'll decide within a year. Yeah, I know. Two years. Actually, that was one year ago. So one more year. <laughs> <laughs> this year? No or the way. next year? Next year. Okay. I'm 60 plus, too old to be having kids. I would be most likely dead before the kid is grown up. I lost my dad when I was 19, and that was hard enough. Yeah, but if your dad hadn't had you so late, you wouldn't be around now, would you, Mr. Ron? <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's something to consider, because, like, if you're 55 and you have a kid, by the time the kid is 20, you're 75. Yeah. So... When you're taken to school, people will say, oh, is that your grandpa? <laughs> Dark-skinned Filipino women are the best, and I won't let her use that soap. Yeah, no problem, Paul. Come visit us. Sure, man. Send me an email. And I'll, I'll uh, find my way there. Um, yeah, this whitening stuff that they have here. This uh, they it's are obsessed. All over the Philippines. They're obsessed about getting their skin white, right? Yeah, like because if you're white, it means you're rich, right? Because you don't work outside. Plus, also like it's all about um, the social construct, like the way people, um, you know, like the way they look at other people that is white. Yeah, they look up to them. Yeah, like. Oh wow, she's so um white. She's so white, she's pretty. Everyone would love would love her. Yeah, because I hear that all the time. I yeah. hear like people say, Oh, look, she's pretty. And I look at her and she's overweight and it's like white. ugly. And I was like, What pretty? You know? And they just say that because she's white. Hmm. Which is it's funny that Filipinos are so racist against their own people. In a yeah, way. and I don't I don't see a lot of like um I know they are Filipinos are racist because, like, when it comes to pageant, you know, because the Philippines, they're really proud of the Filipino pageant. beauty. And what they represent is not even a Filipino. It's a half Filipino. Or even <laughs> yeah, it's, full, always, it's always like a, a, mix, fil, um, a mix. Philam or yeah. Phil European or something, yeah. It's like you, maybe you, if racist, you want racist to. Racist is not the right word, but they maybe racist is not the right word, but they like they like to look. They like to look white, which is a shame because they, they I, want love, to be, I love brown Filipinos. They want to be someone whom they're not like. Yeah. The the Western people they want to be. They want to be they brown. Wanna, they, that's why they yeah. get tan. That's why they go take solarium yeah. and all that. Yeah. And Filipino people want to be white. white. Like, Everybody wants to be what they're not. Yeah, yeah. it's true. Uh, Zane says, "Mr. Ron, I lost my father when I was fourteen, so I can emphasize. Yeah, that's." That's tough, man, losing your dad at such an early age. <laughs> oh, man. I got to go through these comments pretty quick because we're going to go on to about 11, so about 20 more minutes, guys, because we're both really tired. Um, again, learn the facts that Eric found. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Tati. Tati is English. Just seen that on Google. No such thing as totally safe. Exactly. Nothing is totally safe in life. If you live, there's a chance of dying. <laughs> Hi, Paul and Mia. Nice to see you live again. I hope you're doing well. I'm still in the home country and wait for better travel times. 
LOL. See you guys. Take care. Healthy, good vibes, good vibes, and salamat. Okay, thank you. Uh, <laughs> Zim Zim said, grow up. COVID is just the flu. Move on. Stop being a sheep. No, I, I disagree. COVID is not the flu. Uh, it's different from COVID. Yeah, it's... But it has the it's same much symptom. More, <laughs> it's much more dangerous, basically. It's 10 times more death rate and a lot. It's not It's not the flu. Uh, if it was, they wouldn't have shut everything down. Uh, Milo's 57 in Oslo. Hope it will be possible for me moving later next year. Oh, I'm pretty sure it will be by next year. Yes. If possible, going on vacation in September, I will. Otherwise, moving next year. Yeah. September, maybe, but um, like I said, it's hard to say, but uh, third or fourth quarter is my belief. I don't think any of us know. I mean, I know none of us know. What is that? Dog. It, oh, it's a she, 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 she. Why do you say that? <laughs> Shishi poo? <laughs> I've never heard of that. I was going to say Shih Tzu, but it's not Shih Tzu. What's that? It's a mix between a Shih Tzu and a Poodle, I guess, right? A Shih Tzu? <laughs> Maybe? <guess>. <laughs> Looks cute anyway. Enjoy your channel, guys. Like to see more travel spots. Yeah, we plan to. Uh, Shots Fire says, getting paid a Norwegian salary but to live in the Philippines must be the dream. Oh, yeah, that would be the dream. <laughs> Tell me how. Show me how. <laughs> ask me how and I'll show you how. <laughs> ask me how. <laughs> on the Facebook with the money. <laughs> You'll see the scammers on Facebook with like money, like thousands of pesos in there. Ask me how. <laughs> and then you'll see people how. <laughs> uh, being black, I agree with you as far as uh, AA it's a poor solution to fix, to try to fix discrimination with discrimination. Yeah, I completely agree with you there. Affirmative action, discriminating against people to fix discrimination is not a good thing. It just creates resentment. Giving people equal opportunity, that's the way to go. Um, and some kind of um, like... Uh, possibility to go to school like for example if you come from a poor neighborhood whether you're black or white it shouldn't matter if you come from a poor neighborhood and you don't have money to go to school there should be some type of stipends and all that stuff to help you get to school you know like universities and colleges and all that new Akim says there's nothing like fatherhood true uh kendra says i said marriage <laughs> not fatherhood <laughs> No, I can. I raise four. You won't regret it at all. <laughs> the thing is, it's like having a kid. There's no money back guarantee. You can't like plop it back in and say, I don't want a kid. <laughs> you know, you can't change your mind. Once you have the kid, you can't change your mind, right? Yeah. <laughs> you can just say, let's just put it back. <laughs> <laughs> let's put it back. We don't want it anymore. <laughs> To him says it's coronavirus, not a flu. Sheep follow social media, and it's just a flu. Yeah, it's not a flu, guys. People are dying everywhere. Hospitals have been full. I've talked to nurses, so it's not a flu. I'm not sure where people get that from. Um, but the injustice still exists and should be dealt with. In its original, from compensation for one's labor, so reparation is the correct path without pain and suffering or any emotions whatsoever. Are you talking about reparations like for what happened hundreds of years ago with people that weren't, uh, you know, affected by it? I guess, I, 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 I mean, I've heard talk about reparations in the US and I just think it's, it's a silly discussion because number one, you're gonna take taxes from people or money from people that had nothing to do with the original injustice. So it should be just that people get opportunities to compete, uh, such as stipend to go to school, stipends to learn the trade and so on. And it shouldn't have anything to do with skin color. It should have something to do with your poverty level. 
Love biker, but seems love biker, but seems so dangerous in the Philippines. Why not cheap car, or is there lift type or higher driver or too expensive? Yeah, they have um, lift type of um, what's it called? Grab. Grab taxi. Grab grab taxi, and they have taxis, and there's many ways. I just find like having a scooter is so much faster, and I'm used to the traffic here. I don't I don't really find it dangerous. Uh, I'm sure it's much more dangerous than I perceive. And I've learned to slow down. Um, I used to drive very fast before. <laughs> That's because you've got Ninja. <laughs> no, even when I had the scooter, you know, I drive between the cars very fast and, and yeah. all that. I was like Speedy Gonzalez, but I slowed down. And um, I've seen some accidents and I don't don't want to be in an accident. So nothing like having your own child, Paul. It's a magical time. They just cost too much. Yes, they cost a lot of money. <laughs> but yeah, having a kid would be, it's something I've never had. So it would be something. Little Paul running around. Can you imagine on the live stream? Daddy, daddy. Shut up, son. <laughs> <laughs> Try to have a live stream. <laughs> too hard. Uh, white women <laughs> receive more. <laughs> Um, oh God, let's say again. affirmative action than blacks and black women way more than black males. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, they receive affirmative action in a different way. That's true. <laughs> uh, the way you ride the ninja motorcycle in and out of traffic in Cebu, you can learn to surf a longboard, no problem. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, Mr. Ron says, I have two kids. The oldest is Nay's age. People wonder why I think she is young at 45, lol. <laughs> yeah, she's the age of your kids. <laughs> Jeff Assassin, province life makes me feel so isolated, like there's nothing else in the world to see or go to, unless it's online. Yeah, that, that's not a good thing, I think. Affirmative action only helped to bankroll feminism. Yeah, feminism is kind of built on the same thing, right? I mean, uh, you got to discriminate the guys for build up the women type of deal. They don't believe in uh, uh, equal opportunity. They believe in um, equality of outcome, meaning, you know, there should be 50% women CEOs. There should be 50% of women on boards. But if you listen to them, they never talk about 50% plumbers or 50% trash haulers or any type of hard job. They don't want 50% there. <laughs> Just the tough jobs. Tough jobs. <laughs> stay well, stay, stay well away from single mothers. Too much risk and suspect and suspect motivation. I learned a hard lesson. Yeah, I tend to agree with that. But there are some good single mothers out there and um, yeah, there are some good single mothers out there, right? I don't know. You know some single mothers, don't you? No? Mm -hmm. They're not all bad. Uh, that goes double for fat single mothers. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> I'll agree on that one. Uh, Joshua says he's out. I've been divorced twice now. I wish I could trust women again. I, I, Later on in life, you'll you'll learn to trust women again. Maybe you'll find someone that's right for you, and you know that will fit. I think what it is is like if you've been hurt. I've I've been through divorce twice, and I've been through some bad stuff with women. But I think like reading the Red Pill, reading that book I recommend, you know, by Richard Kufert. Cooper, the Unplugged Alpha, I learned a lot about women's nature and understanding. So it's just understanding of the nature of women. And, you know, it's not about trust all the time. It's about just understanding them and where they want to go and what, how, how to act, really. And understanding yourself as well. They get a useless education, and by the time they're done, they want to have children anyway. Well, I don't think education is useless. I mean, some education is, but 
like learning to be a nurse or learning a trade is a good thing. I hear you, man. Just don't go red pill. Too late. <laughs> Too late. Uh, where is the... Oh, my God. We're so behind. Guys, I'm so behind. I'm I'm going to go... I was going to go to 11, but I'll go to 11.30 to catch up. Then um, um, that's it. Uh, my oldest is 34, 30, 26, and 23. Wow. My dad was born in 1905 and mom in 1916. That means his dad lived through World War I and World War II. Wow. I'm the baby of both sides of the family. Dad was 49 when I was born. My sister is 11 years older than me. R word, not the right word. What does that mean? R word, not the right word. What, is, what does that mean? I don't know. I don't know either. Uh, same attitude about dark skin here in Thailand. I've dated a couple of girls here with darker skin, and they're deeply ashamed of it. Yeah, I, I don't. It's like this thing. It's like if you're white, you come from a rich family or something, because you don't have to be outside in the sun, I guess. Filipinos love family. It's one... It's one if there's great trait, one of their great traits, very appealing against Western women values. Yes. And Filipino women are very feminine too. Single moms are high risk, but some are really good people. And it's up to you to know what you're getting into. Absolutely true. Uh, skin whitening, caste system, dark skin is associated with farming and outdoor work and light skin, indoor high class. True. True, but I'm sorry that that's the way it is. I wish it wasn't, but that's the way it's perceived. Uh, the color of the skin isn't important. Chemistry is the most important in relationships. Absolutely right. Chemistry. My my best friend's brother died of COVID. Was leaving was leaving the gym on his Harley and died instantly of COVID when the semi hit him. <laughs> That's funny. You fall from the sky. Oh, it's from Paul. Look at Ivor Gomez on YouTube. You'll see the truth about COVID. Okay. Just listening to one guy on YouTube to tell me what COVID is true or not. I don't need that. I can go to statistics from different places and see that it is true. Thank you for all. Thank you for all wisdom, Paul and me. I enjoyed your live stream today. Peace to you both. Thank you, Zane. My list is seven. Also, if it's not possible to go in vacation, going vacation in September to the Philippines, even though I'm fully vaccinated, I look forward to moving to the Philippines. Enjoy my life dating in the Philippines. Well, it's possible to go to Thailand, so something to think about if you can't go here. Go to Thailand first, spend a few months, and then come here. Hopefully... Cryptocurrency will come back, Dogecoin, Bitcoin. Then I can plan a trip to the Philippines in the near future. Uh, I'm not really into Bitcoin and all that stuff. Many of, many of you may not know that, but there is a lot of similarities between African culture and Asian culture, just for your info. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder, like, like what? Uh, good night, my YouTube friends. I will contact you guys before I come down to Lapu Lapu for a coffee. Great. Thanks, Ken. Um, I'll contact Gio and meet up when I get there. Cool. The welfare state is reparation. Money goes from the rich to the poor. Um, I don't know. Welfare state, you're trying to give people an opportunity, whether they come from a poor family or a rich family, which I think is a good thing. I think it shouldn't depend on what family you're born in, but what you do in life and how hard you work. Uh, wife Filipina is on her way to Cebu now to buy a home we found in Delagueti. We have banks, coffee shops, etc., but 50 miles south of Mactan. If large city items are needed, best of both worlds. Yeah, kind of like living in Valencia, right? Mm -hmm. Blaming all white people for what some white people did is also racist. Yep, true. I would reparations for the Vikings raids on England. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and all the women we took. <laughs> it's really affected my life. 
I feel the effects 400 years on. Give me some pesos, Paul. <laughs> yeah. Not only did we take take a lot of stuff, but we took a, we took the most beautiful women. <laughs> to, <laughs> took them back to Norway. <laughs> so I feel for you, Eric. I feel for you, man. Yeah, you should demand uh, reparations from Norway. They're a rich country. <laughs> By the way, I climbed the stairs in Oslo, Norway for the ski jump complex. It's almost killed me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's that called again? Holman Colm, I think it's called. Um, uh, people are super everywhere in all countries was slavery, even today. Yeah, exactly. Um, I have a Mio 125cc scooter. It's nice, but I'm definitely getting a car. I can do more and much safer. Yeah. I think if I decided to stay here like like a year or two from now and I decide, you know what, I'm going to stay here for the next five years or so, I'd buy a car too. Oh, this is an interesting comment. At Victor Bruce, yeah, we have slavery today. It's called debt and wage slavery. And with the welfare state, white people have been transferring tremendous amounts of resources to the black population in America. Hello from Croatia. I'll be completely honest. Mia is a gem. Paul, you're just a blur on the screen. Blur. <laughs> <laughs> it's focused on you. <laughs> Thailand Tiger, just kidding, Paul. I have a feeling you weren't actually kidding. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, good evening. Nice to see you. Nice to see you also, Alan. Alin's journey through life. Uh, I'm more. I'm more into AC taxi cabs myself. Western women do not like to submit. Okay. Paul, Mia, go and have her. Mia, go and have her 10,000 subs before you. It'd be great for you both that she could announce that she is pregnant. Double time to celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in Thailand 10 times. I'm hoping to visit the Philippines one day also. Thailand Tiger. I've never been to Thailand, so I'm hoping to visit Thailand one day. Totem says, I watched Richard Cooper's vlog today. Well, well done. There Good are some choice. great single mothers. <laughs> they are not single and struggling by choice. Just be aware the child will always be her priority, as it should be, really. Yes. The problem sometimes when dating a single mother is that, you know, you get all the responsibility, but none of the... Um, uh, the say so in how you discipline the child and so on, because it's not your child. So when she wants something, she will be our child. When she doesn't want you involved, it will be my child. That's the problem with some single mothers, not all, but some. Uh, our Brad Cafe says our daughter was born in Bindoy Negros Oriental, 60 kilometer north of Dumaguete. Oh, okay. With overnight stay at birthing center, it cost almost 40 US dollars. Wow, that was expensive, <laughs> 2,000 pesos. That was in 2011, though. Just being exposed to education is a big advantage over those who are not agreed. All three of my sons are scared of having kids. They have seen the child support others have paid. I may never be a grandfather unless the daughter has one. Yeah, I can understand that living in the West. One of the reasons I never had kids in the West Get married, have babies, you will go viral and earn lots of money on YouTube. Oh, sorry. Get married, have babies and go viral and earn lots of money on YouTube and other social media. Look at all the success stories. Oh, God, I'm not having a child for YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if I did have a child, I probably wouldn't put it on YouTube, to be honest. Um, that's how most people died of COVID. Shots fired. One son, a doctor too, he married and he knows what a child would do bad enough as is. Okay. Thailand Tiger says, anti-vaxxers are evolution gone wrong. <laughs> oh God, that's mean, man. Paul, you really need to research COVID. Ignore everything on mainstream media. Okay. Whiter is better comes from when the Spanish 
where the royals and preferred whiter skinned Filipinas and marrying them, making them the upper class. Oh, I didn't know that. Did you? Mm -hmm. That's interesting history, Mr. Ron. Thank you for that. If you yeah, sing, good. if you'd single the city. Because it's like if you are brown before, you are one of the like a slave kind of thing. Yeah, before. darker skin. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. if you're white, it meant you're upper class. Yeah. I yeah. Know. But I didn't know the Spaniards specifically did that here. They did that. If you'd, if you'd single the city in the spot when you settle down, then the province, but not too far out. Huh? I don't know what that means. Oh, God, I lost the place. Oh, here it is. Eric Brown's comments about Viking repression wins the internet. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Norway is very smart staying out of the EU money grab. Yeah, they've, they've got some agreements with EU too, so they can move to and from EU and it's, it's, it's like an EU, uh, um, what do you call that? Agreement and they, they seem to do well with that. So I worked in Singapore three years as robotic engineer I got many friends and had few GFs there. I found out after three years that the way of thinking is exactly the same in African regarding family stuff. So they're very, what you're saying is they're very family oriented in Africa as well. That's good to know. Competition should not be unfair either. Why should a certain group have an advantage from placing another at a disadvantage? You are saying a due head a dew head start is rational in the spirit of competition. What does a dew head mean? What I'm saying is that people should have equal opportunity. So I don't think, for example, if I live in the U.S., as, use the U.S. as an example. If you're born to a poor family, you should have an opportunity to go to school. You shouldn't be denied school just because you come from a poor family. I mean... You have no choice what family you're born in, right? So that's what I'm saying. I believe in competition. And competition involves giving some people an opportunity to compete. But I don't agree in discriminating one person over another. I just believe that giving that person a stipend if they get into school under certain criteria or, you know, Victor says he'll be looking for his Mia once he comes over. Paul is smart. Mia is rare, really pretty, and speaks English fluently, and she has a great attitude. Take your time and enjoy. Will do. Thanks, Ride for Thank Life. You. <laughs> Tennessee Traveler says, please understand comments about marriage and children are the views, the yeah. viewer's perspective, and not intended to cause arguments or problems between you two beautiful people. Yeah, we understand that. Thank you for that. We though. don't argue about that. We don't argue about that. I agree, Paul. I don't want in a relationship with a single mother. I don't want to put myself between her and her child and the child's real father, period. Yeah, that's understandable. Uh, the country has given reparations to all sorts of groups, to European, to Jews, and to Japanese. Another useful self-help guru. I don't know what that means. Um, I love brown skin Penai women have uh, Penai that is very attractive to most men, not only their skin, but the way they are being feminine. Absolutely agree, Milo. Win Duncan says, Hey Mia, how's school going? Nursing school was the hardest thing I've ever done. Sorry, I forget. Nursing school was the hardest thing I've ever done, but the best thing I have done. Still waiting for my confirmation though. Um, for my interview, I'm done with the interview and it went well. Just need to wait for the call. Tuta says, I will check out his book later, meaning Richard Cooper's book. Australia has a plan to eliminate anti-vaxxers, throw open, th throw open the borders when everyone has had a chance to get jabbed. Okay. Um, thank you for the super sticker.
Да. 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 Да, да. Да, да. Да. I get no passes from Paul. My feelings are hurt. <laughs> I'll say good night in case you want to sleep soon. Thanks for good UK time for live stream. Sorry, I missed a lot of it. Um, yeah, I think we're going to wrap it up pretty soon. I think we're towards the end of the comments. This country has rebuilt nations. It's gone to war with. Exactly. Yeah. So we've done our part. Imagine saying that there are too many Africans in the 100 meter sprint and we should give other races a head start. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's wins today's comment. Yeah, exactly. You know, you, you can't, you just can't do that. Uh, I was joking about going viral by having a baby, actually pointing fun at some expat YouTubers. Oh, okay. I think I get what you're saying there. Um, why are the Philippines keeping Americans out? I have been away from my girlfriend and kids for over a year. I understand about OFWs and ROFs, but some Tourist. tourists have a family there also. Yeah, true. But I think it's all coming to an end, man. Just be a bit more patient and it's going to open up. Uh, whatever I enjoy to watch there are COVID Negators. Negators in the comments. It's frustrating. I'm watching your channel because I'm preparing for a visit one day and I can relate to you. Okay, guide. Good guys. Uh, <laughs> okay, guys. I'm going to stop there and say good night. We are, it's 11 07 here Ready and we are really sleep. sleep. Uh, so we'll see you on the next one and we'll have more energy on the next one. It's kind of late for us. So we just wanted to catch the other crowd in Europe uh, since we haven't done. This is our first night yeah. live stream, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So thank you for everyone for joining us. And uh, it was fun. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care and bye-bye.